Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we've got some new crossover news to actually break down. We've got a new photo, we've got a new poster, and we've got some other crossover stuff to break down in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos as we head towards the crossover. So we should expect a new crossover trailer since we got those small two little promos last week probably sometime this week to expect maybe the first 30 second trailer so look out for that after maybe the flash or arrow later this week i would hazard the guess they might do a small one after supergirl this week maybe after tonight's episode but we'll have to wait and see and so look out for that but essentially what was released over the last week was a bunch of photos and we're going to be breaking them down in this video i've waited to actually do this video for like a couple of days now because they've released some new photos so the first photo that was released was a photo of batwoman and again there's nothing too much to break down it just showcases one of her gadgets, like some sort of gun of sorts, and her suit and what she's going to look like. Very similar to the, obviously, the photos, the posters we've seen. But this is like our first still in promotional terms and she looks awesome. So moving on from that, we get to see a look at the different shot that we got from like maybe a month ago now when they were shooting this scene or like three weeks ago. And it's of Supergirl. The Flash as Oliver, John Wesley Ship's 90s Flash, and Grant Gustin's Green Arrow in the crossover. So, this is a lineup of superheroes. Obviously, rather odd because it's a strange mix, and I'm so excited. This photo gets me really, really excited because obviously, I love Supergirl, love The Flash, love Green Arrow, but seeing the OG Flash come in like that is going to be so cool and i can't wait to see john wesley ship play that version of himself and there's just so much to look forward to like how are they going to explain it that's what i'm looking forward to and so as we move on into the next promotional image that they released it was of clark kent lois lane and cara danvers as they get off their truck in the smallville farm so I'm talking about the farm where they actually shot the Kent House farm in Smallville in the TV show. So that is going to be a big thing for Smallville fans. I've never actually watched Smallville. So I can't proclaim that I'm going to have nostalgia seeing this. But I think that's a really nice detail that they've done. And what excites me about this photo is obviously seeing Lois Lane. But seeing Lois with Clark, you know, that excites me so much. Because I'm a massive Superman fan. And seeing Kara, even if she's just in the background behind the truck. Seeing those people together, it's just like... I'm so happy that they're finally doing this on Supergirl, obviously it's in the crossover, presumably it's going to be in the Supergirl part of the episode, and so essentially what's going to be going on like in this part where they actually all meet is they're going to be going to the farm and it's going to be sort of like a getaway of sorts and I think they're going to use this time with Kara and Superman together to talk about some things that have gone on since the last time that they probably saw each other in the TV show, which was like the end of season two. So it's been a while. I think they're gonna catch up in this scene, maybe talk about Monel, that would be nice. And also Allura, because Clark, as it was hinted earlier in this season, is actually currently on Argo City and he will return for this crossover to Earth. So hopefully we get some Allura references as well. And so now I want to move on to the poster of the crossover and this is a comic book poster which they did for Crisis on FX and now we've got a really nice new poster and it's of the Elseworlds crossover and as you can see in the background you can see a faded out version of the monitor which is very very exciting massive character in crisis on infinite earth so it's a massive teaser for that as I've been saying I think they're definitely teasing that to come sometime maybe the next crossover even to merge these earths together and if you look more carefully you can see Batwoman as she jumps off of the balcony in what looks like Gotham and then you have Green Arrow just to the side of her and the Flash and Superman and also Supergirl and it seems like they are fighting each other and I think the root cause of this is if you go down and see below Supergirl there is Doctor Destiny and Doctor Destiny 
is going to be probably the main villain of the crossover, like the mastermind. You can see he is looking super evil, like on another level evil. They've drawn him in such a way that he looks like a skeleton and he's the mad scientist type figure and he's going to somehow be able to control all these heroes and I think they're going to be fighting each other or they're going to be switching each other's personas at some point. This teases that they're going to be fighting each other so we'll have to wait and see if they actually do but that's very very exciting and it seems like his link is actually going to be with the monitor in how he changes reality and what's going to happen with the switches between Barry and Oliver in this crossover. So the final thing that I want to talk about is a fun little fact for you guys and it's technically another crossover and that is the Legacy Flash crossover. So Legacies is a spin-off of the originals and the Vampire Diaries. I've seen a few episodes of the Vampire Diaries and the originals but I haven't watched it fully through so I don't have that connection but it's really awesome to see that another CW show has been allowed to use this Flash character because you can see one of the characters is dreaming of Gorilla Grodd and it's because she read comic books recently and it's in her dreams and also the masked man from Scream was featured in the episode so I thought that was a nice little crossover that they implemented like a CW crossover so I would really like to see like a Vampire Diaries crossover with the flash i think that would be really really interesting maybe seeing like kai parker with monel i think something like that would work really really well and i hope that happens someday so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye